This the kind of beat to go Hey guys, what's going on? It's Joey and today we're here for an awesome troop showcase video and today we're going to be looking at the buzzsaw and it is a legendary unit so I'm really excited to bring this to you guys because it is a super cool unit. I'm it's definitely one of my favorites. It is a pretty much amped up version of the machine gunner as many of you guys know. So I'm sure a lot of you use the machine gunner if you're watching this video, if you have the game and whatnot and it's pretty fun. I mean, I gotta admit the buzz uh, machine gunner just tears everything up. I mean, you put it near anything done just got to give it time but um buzzsaw is pretty much just a little bit better version so we'll just go ahead and check out the details here so buzzsaw legendary following the setup time and the a seaweed smoothie <laughs> who doesn't like a seaweed smoothie the buzzsaw unleashes a storm of bullets at the advancing horde so it fires very fast at a long range takes time to set up and reload the gun cannot fire in melee ra melee range so if there's zombies right on it it's not gonna be able to shoot them that's that's one of the problems but if you get it if you give it time to set up on the money so let's go check out some of these main perks it's going to have so the first one is it gets full metal jack 16 percent chance to deal 240 percent damage which unreal crazy amount so right here it heat dispensation reduces attack duration by 50 percent it's always nice uh total metal jacket increases damage by 50 percent i mean who doesn't like more damage i mean come on guys <laughs> uh level 20 we're going to increase the deployment size i always like that it's a really nice perk uh, lock and load decreases setup time, which is very important because the buzzsaw and the machine gun are both. They can take time to set up, get moving, and that's just really good because it's going to decrease that time just a little bit and could mean the difference between a win and a loss. I mean, more trophies, you know, everything about that is good. And another one here is unlock and eject increases spin down time by 100%, just more decreases in time. That's awesome. I love that. Uh, another one here increases deployment size again by one, which is perfect. I mean, who wouldn't want more buzz sauce? Place those bad boys around the map. You got plenty of them. Just let them go off. I mean, <laughs> it's nice. And level 50. If you manage to get up to level 50, you're going to get some pretty nice perks, I bet. Tripod allows firing in melee range, which is very nice. It's going to keep, it's going to increase their, what's the word I'm looking for? You know, I don't really know just slipped away you know it happens sometimes but um pretty much just gonna make it easier for them to take out those zombies that are in close proximity it's really nice and right over here the final perk that you can unlock is the free float tube increases range by 29 percent so it's gonna be able to see farther further down that road take out more zombies it's gonna be good stuff guys so those are really pretty much those are the perks right here stats if you want to look at these power 90 deployment size only what starts off at one and you can end up getting it up to three if you work your way up all the way to the level 40 and get up to three, but you only start with one right off the bat. So yeah, here's some of the basic little stats you have right here. Just gonna go ahead and show you guys those. If you guys are interested in that, hit me up. I'll give you the deets. Uh, but that's pretty much the basic stats and perks. So right now it's only level seven. I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade as further as far as it can let me. I'm gonna try to see how far I can get it. Because I have a couple coins to use. I'm going to go ahead and finish off these bad boys. Complete the training here. Level 25. Hey, I love it. Level 25. Stamina recharge. Turn up. And my dead shot. Complete the training there. I'm happy with these upgrades. Been working on these guys. 25 power. None health. 33 damage. Sweet. Okay. So let's go ahead and use this furthest locker over here. Buzzsaw. Start the training. How many coins is it going to take for me? 179. Goodness gracious. It's worth it. Complete the training. Now, what I'm wondering here is if I can get it past level 9. So, I think that's when I unlock the next perk. I'm not 100% sure. Let me go ahead and check out this really quick. I don't remember, guys. Let me check. Uh, Buzzsaw right here. Level 10 is when we get to pick a perk. And it's going to cost me a lot of coins. A whole lot. A lot. A lot of coins. But we're going to see what we can do here. I'm just going to go ahead and throw in the Buzzsaw here. Start the training. To get that to nine okay and i'm gonna go ahead and start my dead shot over here because i'm trying to get that up to a higher level here no such a bummer i need another one all right so to get it past nine we're gonna need a second dead shot and since we're not gonna be able to, i don't have another buzz saw so we're gonna have to top out at level nine which stinks but we're just gonna have to roll with that i am able to use it while it is upgrading as you can see that sweet blue animation coming from under it looks cool and it lets us use it while it's upgrading so 
since we're not going to get anything out of it, let's just go ahead and start off here. And we need to fight. Where do we fight? PvP is always a win. Oh yeah, guys, if you were watching my PvP series, which you can go check out just a second ago, uh, this is where I pretty much finished out the season, 140th place, still in the Bronze League. I wasn't to play as much as I wanted to because of Thanksgiving break, but hey, we did all right. I'll take it. So let's go ahead and continue that. And we have another six-day, what is it, six-day season, I believe. Yeah, but um, let's go ahead and attack here. We can use this as a very good example. And I'm going to borrow this dead shot because I like dead shots. So here we go. Get some gameplay with the buzzsaw. It is five minutes, five and a half minutes, I think, into this video that we're finally going to get to see some gameplay. What have I been doing? Y'all don't want to hear me talk. You want to see stuff. You want to see cool stuff. So, right off the bat, where do I want to put stuff? All right. Hmm. This is a very interesting little map here. We're going to leave that side off for the moment. And here's where I'm going to put the dead sh... Uh, bleh. That's where I'm going to put the buzzsaw. We're going to be putting the buzzsaw right there, accompanied by two dead shots. We're going to put those guys over there. And just to provide a little support, we're going to go ahead and put two snipers back here. You know, we're going sniper heavy right here. So we got a bunch of snipers and the buzzsaw right over there. And I'm actually feeling pretty confident about that setup right there. And over here, we're going to finish off the defense with a couple people. Who do I want? Let's go to... Four commandos and a machine gunner. Now it's an interesting little squad we have here, but if we can get that machine gunner warmed up, ready to go, and those commandos can definitely take out all those drones and lower health units, say the sprayers, the infectors, things like that. They're gonna do very well against those. So let's go ahead and start the waves, see how we hold up. Go ahead and send these waves a little bit early. Let's see how we do. So as you can see, those commandos over here are taking out those drones very easily. They're that's pretty much what they're best at, taking out low health units like that. Sprayer, even easy for that. But the machine gunner is only level six. It's gonna, it's gonna take some, it's gonna have some problems causing dealing a lot of damage. Oh, sprayer, not good. Eh, it's not worth moving. Let's go ahead and send that wave. So these guys over here seem to be doing very well. Oof, they managed to get over there. That's not fun. I don't like that. Let's see if I can move these guys right on over here just a little bit more because what they actually did, they managed to move over towards the hospital just because of my poor planning and I wasn't really looking over there, but it's no big deal. We're still going to be able to do a great job over here. I'm going to go ahead and stim up the buzzsaw right here, get some stuff going, flare over this biohazard because the buzzsaw, those snipers are not going to be able to take that kind of damage from there. Let's go ahead and st speed these guys up real quick. Here is the final wave. Let me go ahead and send this right there. We're making moves. Oh yeah, I forgot. Uh, December 1st, 25 days till Christmas. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. All right, so we are just about to finish up here. Okay, these commandos are going off. They are killing it. Over here, where the buzzsaw is actually playing. Taking out a couple of those last drones. Go ahead and check out this area over here. Just a couple more drones to go, and we are completed. Molotov Gokdos, go ahead and not throw that down because we didn't have enough time. So... Time bonus 79. That's we're clearly over the trophy range, and looks like we're gonna get some points for PvP. So we're up, we're moving up to 68th place. Sweet. I love it. That's good stuff. We're making moves, guys. But I hope you enjoyed this little video we have on the buzzsaw. Pretty fun had making had fun making it. But guys, thanks so much for watching, and as always, I will see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.